here. Uh, I want to show you the move tool uh, that came about in 11.5. Uh, I think they call it a transform tool. Uh, it would be, uh, uh, I believe this one right here, I got earmarked as W. But what I want to show you is uh, kind of how it works in 11.6 and how they've kind of fixed it up in uh, 12. I guess not 12, but 2015. So I'm going to go ahead and metaform this little cube. And uh, this is a 10 millimeter cube, so it's very small. And uh, one of the things that doesn't work so hot in 11.5, and 11.6, 11.6.3, and uh, up until 2.2015 is this uh, transform tool. Uh, it's it's very uh, hard to grab the widget, and it's very hard because on small objects, for some reason, this pre-highlighting uh, overrides selecting the widget, and you just can't select the widget and do anything with it. Now, if I zoom out here, I can select the widget, and all is well and good. But when you zoom in, and I work on small stuff all the time, I work to scale, and so I work on a lot of nuts and bolts and screws and a lot of little details and, and real world things. So this is this has basically never worked in 11.5 on uh, till 2015. So as you can see, it, it was pretty worthless for me, this addition. But now let's jump over here to 2015, and let's do the same thing. I'll uh, just metaform that to make it small. And I'll grab a polygon. And I think I still have that. No, I do not have that as a shortcut right now. But uh, it's around here. Under under modify, I believe, right there you go, transform. I'll change that to W here pretty soon. W is kind of pretty generic for most applications when you get it removing. So here it is, same size, 10 millimeter square uh, cube that I uh, subdivided. And now these things can be grabbed, which is going to be really nice for me because I work on very small real world items and uh, I'll be able to uh, use this tool now uh, and it even works through an object uh, that's impossible on 11.5 uh, you, you just forget it, it won't happen okay. Because this here got pre-highlighted, this uh, polygon here in front got pre-highlighted, and it overrides pretty much the selection mail. And there I did, it. but it's you know hit or miss, not very reliable. We're over here now, the reliability factor it went way up. You can scale it. Rotate. You know, one thing they do need to correct is, you know, the rotation. Um, if I grab this root widget here and rotate it, okay, now you know it's what I expect because I'm grabbing the widget and rotating it around with my mouse. But as soon as I get over here, you see how it moves backwards the other way. The way Lightwave is set up, it's really set up for you to use a side-to-side -side motion with your mouse. Uh, so it's not very user-friendly. Um, I'd be more apt as a user to grab the widget and you know rotate around you know in a circular fashion with my mouse or in, in my case with my Wacom pen. So this is not very user-friendly. Uh, by the same token, 
if we fire up a moto uh, what I like about moto is you get the same type of thing uh, but the uh, widget your actual your your widget becomes your your mouse so in other words your mouse pointer disappears and uh, this one's running real slow because I have this screen capture software running. But anyway, watch when I select this yellow here. My and you probably won't be able to notice, but my my mouse will disappear and I will be rotating that in a circular fashion on my Wacom tablet. So it's very, very uh, user friendly in that regard and, and very intuitive you know uh, and, and 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 these are selected really super easy you know uh, they did a really good job with this type of thing where uh, in lightweight here it's still you know the I, I appreciate these extra tools but you know I'd, I'd like for them to really hone them down and get them to uh, function super well not just well that's posing some problems here right now. It's very difficult. Oh, there I got it. Uh, it, it. You know, modeling shouldn't be, you know, a hit or miss type thing. You know, you should be able to grab this stuff and know exactly what you're going to get when you like rotate. See, I'm moving my mouse down, but the thing is rotating up. You know, it's a left to right uh, motion with your mouse, and it really shouldn't be that. It should. You should, you know, in a circular fashion, like in Moto here, uh, it's just much more intuitive to do it this way. It's extremely intuitive, and I think that's where uh, modeling needs to go. It needs to become intuitive to the user, and you know, it, it just, you know, just really isn't so much. Uh, but anyway, they did improve this tool, so now it'll be. Uh, usable, I guess, maybe. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm in 11.6, no wonder. Let's go over here. And yeah, it's, 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 it is usable now. So that'll be good. But, you know, actually, this thing should be big. You know, there shouldn't be no reason why this darn little widget isn't a little bit bigger. So you can, you know, grab this stuff easier. But hey, I'm happy that it does indeed kind of work now. You know, it's, there's probably only one or two pixels here that actually make, you know, the widget selectable, which, you know, sometimes when you're using a tablet, you know, it can be kind of difficult sometimes. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, things are improving rather slowly, but things are improving. Uh, that's my two cents. See you next time.